All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and fellow fishing accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So yes, we are back at it again. It's been a while. Uh, I don't know when I'm posting this, but I haven't fished for coming up on two weeks now. Um, for no real problem, I just had to do some overtime last weekend, overtime work, so I had to, to skip out, trying to save up a little money for the summer for whatever fishing or other things might come up. So yeah, I had to sit out last weekend, but we're back out now. And I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do literally until about a few hours ago before I went to bed, but we're gonna hit the back bays today. Um, I originally wanted to go kind of close to where I was in the previous video, but um, figured I'd mix it up. Uh, hit this area up while it's still an option for fluke specifically, though bass are certainly a, a possibility as well, but I'm really going just straight for the fluke, unless the bass are just like right there and unavoidable. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the, the whole gulp thing, bucktails, etc. I don't really see any reason to stray from that, but yeah, the usual. I'm gonna keep it as light as possible. I think we're getting in with outgoing tide, uh, which will switch to incoming after a few hours. Of course, getting in crack of dawn, it's dark out right now. So that is the plan. I'm gonna bring everything and be ready for anything. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to watch it and like it. So stay tuned because you know what we're about to do. Get some fishing accomplished. All right, bright and early, getting on the water. It's 5.30. Like I said, I'm really just looking for fluke. The only reason I'm gonna stop for bass is if they're like banging me over the head, like it's just obvious, but I can always come back to that if the bunker around. That's really the only way I foresee myself getting any. So got a, I think a decent outgoing tide going right now. So I'm gonna hit a few spots of interest and see how that goes. I'm gonna start just jigging some gulp on a three, three eighths ounce jig head, just like last time. I'm use some of these jerk shads, six inch, and hopefully that does a trick. Stay tuned. All right. I'm not trying to fish here too long in this particular area, but I'm here, so I might as well give it a shot. The spot has been good to me before for fluke, so let's see if it can be good to me now. Get a feel for what kind of drift we're working with. I know it's outgoing. I got some life down there too, that's good. There he is. That's a good. That's a fluke for sure. Feels like a good start. Feels like a good start. Definite big good head shakes. If this is a fluke, it's a definite keeper. And then some. Yes, indeedy. What a start. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, boys and girls. Yes. First drift. Let's go. Easy. 23, 24 incher. Let's go. Folks, this is how you start a fishing session. Let's get this guy immediately stringed up. Keep it fairly on the low. Literal five, not even five minutes in the water. Not even five minutes. And that's a wrap for you. All right, let's get this knot overboard. Keep it on. This boat goes by. Let's get a little measure action. First drift. Four or five pounder. Let's go. It's maybe the Closer to four, I'd imagine. Uh, 22 and a half, so probably four pounds. Nice. All right, well, that is uh, how you start a fishing session right there, folks. Got some bunker jumping around us or something. Uh, but yeah, let's hope that this fluke is not a five minute curse fluke. Uh, let's uh, go over that again and see if we can get another one. All right, let's try that again. See what else we can find. Bet that fish isn't alone. A lot of life in the bottom. There we go. 
Wow, another fluke. Feels nice. Whoa, jeez. Another nice fluke. Let's go. He doesn't feel as big as the last one, but... Eh, we're not gonna net you. You're not that big. Heck yeah. Back down we go. All right, definitely a bite. We just got another fluke right up to the boat. Not a keeper, but... Good sign, there's a lot of life here. Oh wow. Just for the heck of it, let's see what this is. I think they're little blues. Little blue fish. Ruin my gulp. It's already too late though. A lot of little bluefish around. I'm gonna have to be careful if I don't want to burn through all my gulp. But we'll keep fishing here for a little bit. Certainly are fish around. There we go. Let's go. That's a nice fish. Let's go. That's a good fish. It's definitely better than the last one we lost. Eh, he's lightening up, but I don't know. Got some good head shakes. That one's close, but we're not gonna mess around fish like this. And there goes my gulp. Eh, felt good for a sec. Lightened up. A lot, of, a lot of streaks in the fish finder. I'm guessing these are maybe little bluefish, or maybe schoolies, maybe bunker. I don't know, but... They're acting like they're looking like the predators, the way they're moving. I just had one grab onto it. That's not a fluke. That's 100% not a fluke. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem today. This is gonna be a problem. I don't want you to ruin my gulp. Come on. <clears throat> there he is. Little guy. Maybe not that little, I don't know. It's not that big. Spot. Let's see what we can do here. Nothing wrong with the old spot, but it's fizzling out and tide is going to be slowing down, so we might as well try as many spots as possible in the meantime. It's got to be small, tiny fish. That explains it. That explains a lot. Back down. Just got a micro fluke, which this area is known for. I'm gonna give this spot, this particular area, no more than another 10 minutes unless something compels me to stay. So I can think of a spot or two where the tide will be moving better uh, for this tide. And I think I'd have a better shot at getting something larger and more action too. But while we're here, we might as well finish this drift. That's something. Oh, dang. Felt a little better, but probably just a sea robin or small fluke. Maybe bluefish. Oh, oh, oh. That's something. Feels nice. Maybe not, I don't know. It feels weird. Feels weird. It's a fluke, though. I don't know. It's going back and forth. 
don't think he's that big. That's uh, a keeper, I think. I'll net him just to be safe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would keep. Not a big one, but it's close. Even if he is, I'm probably gonna let him go. Probably like 18. Yeah, he's close, like 18, just a hair over. Back down. Sure. Yeah, that one definitely will go over 18 and a half. I think that one's at least 19. Which means it's time for you to go in the bag. This one's close, but I think he's definitely over 18 and a half. I also don't want my gulp going away. I'm guessing at least 19. He's just over 18 and a half, so I'm gonna let him go. I get that gonna flaze off him, but at least that's two keepers. All right, just got an 18, just over 18 and a half entry, but we threw him back. Get some good karma. Not desperate for meat, and that's not really the size of keeper I'm looking to keep today. You don't get quite as much meat off those 18 inches, obviously. I'd like them at least be 19 inches, especially this time of year from this kind of place. Out in Montauk, once the summer gets going, it's another story, but these fish, uh, particularly this time of year, are a bit on the thinner side, so those belly flays will probably be practically non existent. So, since we got meat, since we got a fish in the cooler already, we're self-limiting ourselves to 19 unless it's a mortally hooked fish. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good. That's a fish. It is, this is a big fish. If it is a fish, it's not really fighting. It's not fighting at all. This is a fish, it's a doormat. Or it's foul hooked, or both. Oh yeah, it's big. Big fish, big fish. Oh wow. Jeez. Big fluke, big fluke. Let's go, let's go. He's not that big, but he's good karma, right? <sighs> yeah. Thought he was gonna be a bit bigger, but I'm not complaining. Came up like a sack of bricks. See, that's why I let the other one go. <laughs> Get him right in the stringer. Came up like it was gonna be a six pounder. Let's go. 
guessing like 22, maybe 23. Uh, 21 and a half. Thing came up like it was gonna be six pounds. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, it's not even eight o'clock and we've gotten two keepers, technically three, so it's time. Cracking into our cell through the day. It's LaCroix. Haven't done this brand in a minute. This is the coconut. Oh wow. That is delicious. A lot of flavor there. This is right up there with the best of the best. You know, easy nine out of 10. And hopefully this viewing experience is one of the best of the best for you so far. So if you could, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, would appreciate that a lot. Let's go over that drift again. All right, having a great day so far. Let's see if we can make it even better. Three keepers, two in the boat. Let's see if we can go for that limit. What? I'm gone. Come on. Feels like another nice fish. This is insane. Feels like a keeper. Dude, this is another keeper. Another keeper. Dude, this is nuts. I'm about to limit out. It's not quite as big as the last, but that's an easy 20 incher. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'm gonna have to keep this one. He swallowed it. This one swallowed it, so we don't have a choice with, but he's definitely big enough. Let's see. Let's say 20. Twenty incher. Nope, nope, nope. Get you right on with this guy. Got another keeper in the boat that makes it three so we're allowed one more and i'm not looking to keep a fish unless it's either mortally hooked or at least at least 22 or 23 inches again not even eight o'clock we've already gotten a limit we've only but we've only kept three so let's go over that spot again see if there's a, a real a real giant all right let's see if we can finish the limit with the giant either way we're having a great day but let's see if we can make it a phenomenal day First fluke limit since this time last year, thereabouts. Little guy. Not that little, though. Again. So many small fish. There's some nice ones in the mix. Just gotta weed through the small stuff. Oh yeah, that's better fish. Better fish for sure. Better fish. That's gotta be a keeper. Definite keeper, that's the limit right there. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. 
This might be it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, big fish, big fish. Oh my God, it's doormat. Doormat, come on, come on, yes! Woo! Hell yeah, hell yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Woo! That is the way to go out. <laughs> Five, six pounder. Heck yeah. Not a bad one. <laughs> some nice fish in here. They're stacked. I mean, there's a lot of keep, a lot of small stuff, but some nice ones too. Gonna measure easy 25, 26, maybe uh, 24. Just a really chunky 24. now but we're gonna hit that drift one more time and then I'm gonna do a little exploring see if we can find something else or just do some scouting for the future but we're already got our limits so we got nothing to lose at this point tides about to bottom out too so there's a few spots I want to check out all right hitting a new spot one that I've always thought looked good but never really had too much luck on but I have nothing to lose at this point, so might as well check it out, see if there's anything here for future reference. Do some scouting. Got him that time. I don't think that's a fluke. I don't know what this is. Bluefish, weak fish, not a fluke, that much I know. Weaky, yeah, it makes sense. Tip the gulp too, somehow. Just got a little weak fish, which I'm not complaining about. And since we're limited out on fluke, there's no reason not to keep trying to see if we can get a better one, because I definitely had a few misses in that drop. These fish do tend to school up. Lost him that time. It's definitely just like a school of weak fish down there, but that's a better one. That's a better one. Unless he fouled. Yeah, it's better. It's a legal one. Not that I'm looking to keep. Nothing like what we were getting on the North Shore, but not at all complaining. All right, unless uh, we encounter something on the way back, I think I'm gonna call it now. Had a great, you know, fluke outing. It was almost too good, you know? It's like you just have to give it up while you can, because um, I limited it out. But I'm, I'm super psyched about that. 
Would have been nice if we got some fish that were just a little bit bigger, but I am definitely not complaining, especially after not fishing for a week. So yeah, very uh, good time in the bay. I think next time I go fishing, I'm gonna fish a bit closer to the actual inlet or in the actual ocean area. I mean, North Shore, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how the conditions are and we'll see what I'm in the mood for, but definitely a solid fluke trip. I'm gonna load up that freezer. I think the real trick again was just to fish as light as possible with the jig head. I'm sure a bucktail would have worked as well, but the jig head really did a number. It's kind of a little bit of a finicky bite too. Definitely had to let these fish kind of chew on it a bit because they would kind of just play with it until you know you gave them that extra time. Uh, but yeah, overall fun time. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Of course, goodbye from fishing.